I think the best part about the summer was that we did it together. We spoke constantly as a team the whole time about um, making the experience a good one. And then when I look back now, I have memories of the whole nine weeks of being together, you know, not just that final moment or whatever. Yeah, I think it made it ultra special to do it with a group that felt like family away from family. How we won it, where we won it, like the home of football in England, in front of your family and friends, it's an indescribable feeling. We deserved it. We were never worried about going home. We went down against Spain and we still had the belief that we were going to go on and win and they're the types of teams you want to play in and yeah, that's what probably made it extra special to win it. Yeah, we're footballers but we're also human beings and I think the coolest thing about doing it with people that you care about, people that you're friends with, is that you know them not just on a footballing basis but you know them on like a, a personal basis. The fans saw 10% of what actually happened throughout that whole Euros but the other 90% contributed so much towards that 10% and yeah the 10% was amazing but I think the 90% was what pushed us, uh, kept us motivated and allowed us to enjoy it. The night before we were at the yeah, we Tottenham, was, training, ground. Yeah, Tottenham yeah. training ground which is a bit new for us. Mm. I went to my room, did like my processes that I always do before a yeah. game and I just really chilled. I always compare that to like you know, I don't know, like Christmas when it's something like really exciting. I think if you look at like the night before that Euro final, while we didn't know the outcome, we knew everything that was going to happen that was in our control. As a result, like you didn't really feel like you should have the nerves or the anticipation and that's the feeling amongst everyone, I think, and it showed obviously on the day after. After Spain, yeah. we just went out about half ten one morning, it was a day off, and by the end of the day, every single person in the team was on the volleyball court. I think after such a stressful situation mm -hmm. in the Spain game, to then just be like, chill out, mm -hmm. let's just have a good time, basically. That's definitely going to stay with me because I've still got yeah. a broken finger from it. <laughs> Forget a medal. This is what I carry with me for the rest of my life now. The moment I see my mum and dad, I just broke down into tears and brought back a lot of memories in terms of the process I went through with them, like, like I threw my football kit in the bin because I didn't want to play anymore. My dad pulled it out and made me go to training and my mum worked double jobs to get me to train and I think all of that just came out for me. I was so, I was just a mess. I was well, hot mess was crying, crying a lot. Hot mess. Didn't think about no one else at that time. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. I just, every person I looked at either cried or smiled yeah. and just, just, I think all that relief just kind of came out. So <laughs> Player of the tournament, but you can't fight a wasp. No, I can't. No. You've gone from being somebody that nobody knows to everybody double takes. For me, um, you know who I am. You know who the girls are. Like that's a start. Like it's a start of. Uh, yeah. Like we said, it's a beginning. It's it is. A start. It's a start, and I think that's a good side of it. It's so nice, especially after a tournament, to connect with everybody. That's. Yeah been at home watching. Yeah, it's I've nice been to hear fan. the other side yeah. of it. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. I feel like we've probably like taken the bat baton from like all the players that have come before us that would go unnoticed. And I think it's less so about the fact that we get stopped and whatnot. It's more so the fact that what that means for the game and like the people that are going to come after us. I seen something that you said the other day, Laura, about being us being so accessible and it's such a win for our game because we can be. We have to do that because, like you said, the people that come before us are unnoticed. The fact that we are means the game's growing. That's everything that we want. I was always a bit scared to dream too big and look where it's got us. It's possible. <laughs>